Hey guys, it's John, and welcome to my playthrough of the casting of Frank Stone from the world of Dead by Daylight, a multiplayer asymmetrical horror game that I unfortunately have about 3,000 hours in. Thank you, thank you for your condolences. Um, this was developed by Supermassive Games, who you may know as the developers of Until Dawn, the Dark Pictures Anthology, uh, The Quarry, and a couple other games that I may not be thinking of at the moment. This is their latest foray into their chosen genre, the choice game genre, but this will be in the world of Dead by Daylight. Now, I figure I've got a lot of experience with Supermassive games. I've played all the main ones, at least as far as I know, and I have a lot of experience with Dead by Daylight, so this is a perfect meeting and colliding of worlds. Now, I have heard since this, you know, came out a week ago and I have had the privilege of seeing the internet's reaction to it. Um, I have heard from a lot of DVD streamers that I follow on socials that it, uh, and I quote, sucks ass. However, um, I think it's important to call into question DVD streamers' opinions on games because what do they really know about it? I mean, look at what game they're streaming, right? Just a little shade to start the video. We have fun here, you know. Oh my god. Skip to end, please. Skip to end. Thank you. But, uh, yeah. You know, I'm gonna have uh, fun with this. I think I always have fun with super massive games. Even, even their bad ones, like uh, The Devil and Me. It's a bad game. I think I was pretty nice about it. Uh, when I first played it. That's the H.H. H. Holmes one. Um, but I think that's their probably, probably their worst game ever. We'll see what this one's like, though. Use the cutting room floor to see your current path through the story. You can jump to previously played points in the story to change outcomes, unlock different branches, and find collectibles. Thank you. Now, I do want to uh, also just briefly address uh, the elephant in the room, which is that after I played Detroit Become Human on this channel months ago, um, I had such a bad time with the community interaction aspect of the playthrough that I was like, you know what, no more choice games. We're not doing that anymore. Nope. Um, I think this is an exception because I've always had like a, a nice time playing super massive games because I think Everyone who plays these type of games understands that, like, the choices don't really follow any logic. Um, you know, well, some people might think they do, but uh, I think we all know that they're wrong. Uh, and I think that people are kind of more into these games for the fun than getting super serious about, like, how dare you kill my favorite character? I think it probably helps that most of the characters in super massive games you don't really care about too much. But yeah, let's, uh, well, you can play at co-op, but we'll be dying alone. Let me check the settings real quick. Uh, now, if you haven't seen videos on this channel before, I do play uncut. Okay, so uh, we're going to turn film grain and motion blur off, as always. But yeah, there won't be any any cuts in this playthrough, unless it's really important. Unless I, like, get up and take a bathroom break or something. Obviously, I won't leave that in. Um, depth of field, ultra and medium are the only options. Okay, target frame rate 30. Well, let's try to, let's try to target 60, okay? If we can. Thank you. Um, let me just check and see if there's anything else that we want. Any other, like, visual effects. I think this is fine, though. Uh, subtitles. Ooh, we need to turn those on. Minimal. Let's do minimal subtitles because I mainly just want to hear it for dialogue, which I think is what we get with that. Sidebar, we want that on. Okay, apparently the audio preset for home cinema is to just crank everything to 100. Mute copyrighted music. Uh, that's going to be on. Okay. Now, uh, um, I did that option for their last game, The Quarry, and the music that it played, I was like, whoa, this is really out of place and awful. Which, um, I then discovered that a lot of those tracks I thought that about were the same as, um, when you have copyright music on. So, 
yeah, who knows? We might hear an odd song or two, but they may just be that way in the normal game. Anyway, enough chatter. Let's go ahead and start her up. Die alone. Now, I did notice that you can link your behavior account and, and connect with Twitch, but I don't really see any reason to do that. Let me, let me see. Okay, before we start, I'll make a cut here. Is there any reason to do that for, like, story purposes? Okay, we don't have to do it. Um, I just wanted to see. It would have been cool if, like, it did some fourth wall breaking or something personally related to your DVD account in the game. That would have been neat. I just want to check and make sure that that wasn't the case. All right, we'll go ahead and start a new game now. You will not escape torment, but you may survive. That's what it says, just so you know. Um, you will witness suffering, but survival is expected. I mean, let's just play, let's play Survivor. Let's play on medium. That seems fair to me. All right, here we go. Casting of Frank Stone. Every choice made, every action taken has consequences. Some will save lives. Some will result in death. Is it gonna play O oh, Death? I've sacrificed everything searching for it. A world within a story whispered to me centuries ago. Of a timeless power, infinite in knowledge, voracious in hunger, the entity. A realm so close to ours, but always out of reach. Until I found him, Frank Stone, my key, my killer. I am Augustine Lieber, and I'm about to change our worlds forever. Wow. Now, uh, I should probably have clarified, I don't really know anything about DVD lore. I just liked playing the game. I found the lore to be one of the least interesting things about the game. So there's gonna be a lot in this game that I don't know about, or... There's gonna be a lot of references I probably won't see. I'm a good boy. I'm a good dog. I want snacks. any looping gameplay they're gonna make us fix a generator aren't they with quick time events hunt for missing infant continues hmm I think we might have heard the missing infant cedar steel core the burning maw Chapter one. Oh, hey, we got color now. See, it was black and white because dogs are colorblind. Actually, isn't that a myth? Like they can see color. I don't know. But it's like really muted, right? Like it's not black and white. Maybe I'm making that up. You know, I just Google it. Who cares what I think? Probably wrong. I'm assuming you're the night watchman here. I am. 
Or just you, covering the entire site? Oh, no. I got help. Where are they now? On duty? Mother Manor. Merlin just goes where he pleases. Merlin? My dog, Doberman Pincher. Best friend a fella could ask for. Loyal to the seventh horn sounds. Trust him more than I trust myself. That's a weird thing to say. Uh, okay, let's get serious. Hmm, let's get concerned, actually. I'm concerned. So, you and the dog. Merlin. Merlin. You two are security for the whole mill? I know, I know, overkill. But between the two of us, we get the job done. Though, I don't know where he's got himself to tonight. Maybe I scared him off. Scared him off? <laughs> that, that is a good one. Thomas Jefferson Holt's the name. Call me Tom. Really? Thomas Jefferson Holt. Okay. Officer Sam Green. You ain't one of Kusich's deputies, are you? My captain has loaned me to Sheriff Kusich as additional manpower for the duration of this investigation. Oh, you mean the business with the missing boy? That's right. Hmm. Let's not be disapproving. Let's not be judgmental. Let's be questioning. Notice anything suspicious? Notice anything suspicious around the mill? Tonight? Tonight? Last few nights? Anything at all? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Hmm. Nothing. Oh, heck, don't take my word for it. Ask the sheriff. Sheriff Kusich has been here? He saw by last night asking about the exact same thing. And I told him the same thing I'm telling you. There's no way that boy could be here and Merlin and me not know about it. And what did the sheriff say? Okay, Tom. And he got back in his car and left. Huh. So nobody's actually checked the mill. So what you're telling me is nobody's actually checked the mill for any sign of the boy. When you say nobody, does that include Merlin? Uh, no, really Tom, occupied. it does not. I'm talking human investigators only. In that case, Sam, I find it hard to argue with your assessment. <sighs> Any objections if I take a look around the place? No objections from me. Of course, everything's locked for the night. It's not a problem. There's Merlin, of course. Of course. Of course. You could forget. I'm looking for him. I'll tell him that. I'm sure he'll understand. Thank you for your help, Tom. Happy to oblige. Yeah. No help, actually. You were not helpful. See, we don't want to say, oh, you've been drinking. We don't want him to get defensive, and we don't want him to know that we're perceptive. We want him to be like, that idiot cop will be out of here in no time, and he won't, he won't find anything. He didn't even notice my flask in my drawer. <laughs> I've outsmarted him. We want him thinking that. What does it say? We will work safely? He's locked up. Now, is Merlin a good boy, or is Merlin a bad boy? Okay. Find a way into the mill. You know, it would have been cool. Just, I'm going to be chiming in with some Dead by Daylight things here or there, okay? So just... It would have been cool if this looked like the map Ironworks of Misery, or something like that, or there was some kind of link like that. Now, for all I know, you know, the steel mill and the ironworks are kind of related or something like that, but yeah. I mean, this looks cool, don't get me wrong. But I, you know, and I, I don't know anything really about this, uh, like what the game's content is. But I'm kind of wondering if the DBD part of it is like in name only. Like, cause I don't know, I remember watching the trailer for it forever ago, but I don't remember much about it. 
from what I remember, there's uh, original characters in this one. And I'm not sure if anybody from DVD even makes more than maybe like a cameo appearance. Like I'm talking about like, you know, legacy characters. Dwight, Meg, Claudette, Jake, Michaela. That was a joke. That was a joke for you, you DVD heads, you fog heads out there. You know, I tried to make fog head a thing, but Iridescent King, oh, that's the name of the add-on that the doctor uses. Oh. <laughs> I understand that reference. <laughs> This is an iridescent add-on for the doctor. <laughs> no, no, good on them for including something like that. Very neat. I just think it's really funny. Oh, oh boy. Oh. The Iridescent King extends the duration of the Doctor's illusions. I actually can't... I, I'm, I've been kind of out of it with DBD lately. I haven't been playing it as much, so I've forgotten a lot of the stuff that I used to know by heart. I forget what exactly Iridescent King does. You know, it doesn't help that they change the add-ons in that game constantly, and there's like a billion different characters. <sighs> anyway. um, Right. Okay, that's where I came in. Okay, so I didn't see anything else I could really do over there. Um, I can't go in there. Probably, probably gotta go this way, yeah? An open window. I can get in through there. Thank you, Sam. If there's no original DVD killers in this, Easy does it. Search for the missing child. Like, I, I don't know for... I, I don't think that Frank Stone is the name of any of the killers in DVD. I know a lot of their names, their real names, because it's kind of a meme. The doctor is Herman, for example. Is it Herman Carter? I can't remember exactly. I am gonna be doing a bunch of this annoying bullshit. Just like, oh, was there anything over here in the corner? Cause if 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 the collectibles are named after add-ons, that's gonna be so funny. I have to find them. So I can annoyingly proclaim that I understood the reference for everyone to hear. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going. You will not be able to return. Oh, wait, what? Oh. You will not be able to return to the area. Oh, okay. So that's, uh, that's, that's very helpful. Thank you. <gasps> Let's pick this up. Employees Weekly Rota. Harold Norris, Dennis McCann, Bobby Rivers, Frank Stone, Lou Osterman. Okay. <gasps> Friday the 13th is circled, y'all. <gasps> Jason, new killer confirmed? It was confirmed in Frank Stone. Moved Dawkins and Stone off graveyard to pick up slack. No one, no, sorry, no use running three crews with half the manpower. Some fella's gonna have to double up shifts. Told the Lumpkin out front no one's working nights for a while. Hux. Hux as in the singularity? Oh God. This might be my most annoying playthrough ever. I'm going to be simply unbearable during this. Time to time to strap in, y'all. Yeah, let's go ahead and <gasps> Huh? Huh? What's this? Employee fourth preferred name. Can't read that. It's a machinist. Uh, let's see. Criminal record, one charge assault robbery. Five dreams, civilization. Okay, I don't know. Uh, uh, thanks. I guess it's a, a clue of some kind. 
A mill employee got his job thanks to an endorsement from a Dr. Lieber. Really? Dr. Lieber. Hmm. All right, well. Can we get in here? That's where I came in. I will quickly learn how much exploration is rewarded in this game. So far, it seems like if you can go somewhere and get something, Hello? it's very Anyone clear. here? It's police. It's very clear where to go. <laughs> My biggest jump scare. Scariest game in years. Okay, well, I guess we'll just go in here. They're really, they're really there? building up the tension. Sam's probably gonna die, right? And then we're gonna like, we're gonna get, after Sam dies, we'll get like teleported to like an idyllic sunny day somewhere with like a group of friends that are all palling around with each other. They'll be, they'll be joking around, pranking each other, saying stuff like, shut up and shoving each other, things like that. That's what's gonna be happening. Huh. After Sam dies. Okay, well, you can go up here, but I'm not sure why. I guess if you want to waste your own time. I love wasting Ugh, time. Smells like death. You have no idea. Mr. Green, officer. Oh, yes, sir, of course. Uh, we haven't seen Merlin, have you? No. Yeah, sorry. Ugh. You all right there? Ugh. Yeah, it's just... Jesus, you don't smell that? <sighs> Sniffer's out of commission. <laughs> Got a little too up close and personal with a can of mustard gas back in the trenches. Ah. <laughs> It can be a blessing in disguise. Ugh. Gotta find out where it's coming from. What's it smell like? Nothing good. <laughs> Corpse? Yeah. You're suspicious. You're making me suspicious. There you are, boy. We wondered where you got to. Is that unlike Merlin to go here like boy. that? Dig name it. Sure to like it if you two made proper acquaintance. God damn it. What is that? Ugh. You're just gonna inspect this? What is that? I mean, that could be, that could be anything. What is that? I can't get a good look at it. Is it bone? You put this out for him? No. It looks like someone else has found his way to your boy's heart. Through his stomach. It ain't possible. Merlin and me, we're a team. Who'd want to come between a man and his best friend? What's that? Some kind of wiener mate? That's a human ear. 
Hmm, know what that is, yep. Time Will to call it in. That? Time to call it in, Sam. That damn dog. Think that belongs to the boy you're looking for? <laughs> Dismissive. There's no proof it does. But what if do yourself a favor and park that thought? Because all your guesses so far tonight have been way off base. Well, Sam, cool it. Cool it. I don't think we want to piss this guy off. He seems a little unstable. Especially with his friendship with the dog. Or sorry, Merlin, not the dog. <gasps> oh my god. Look at it. Um, or are we not? You don't want to take. You don't want to take that? Okay. Weird. I mean, you got the iridescent king. What was that sound? What was that? Stay behind me. Oh, you can't. You can't interact with that locked box. Only some of the locked boxes. I guess they kind of glow when you walk up to them. Actually. Actually, if interactables glow, that means I don't have to walk right up to them. That will be nice. Save time. So, what is this thing? The grape? Yeah, what is it for? <laughs> it's, uh, for the furnace, I think. You don't know for sure? Yeah, I work at the mill, not in the mill. Hmm. Find something to pry open the grate. We're getting a little need too... need something to pry this open. We're getting a little too close to the truth now. Ray, Raymaster's office. Oh, pay, Paymaster. That makes way more sense than Raymaster's. Okay. Hmm. Can climb. Here I go. I'm going in. Uh. Oh, here we go. Gotcha. Yeah, pry bar. Got to inspect it. And make sure that that's what it is. Oh, it makes the DVD sound. Okay. Don't help me or anything. Yeah, I guess there's nothing over here. Huh. Suspicious equipment, though. Okay. Stand back. Oh. oh okay, that was really easy. I was... Getting nervous. My big moment. Don't mess it up. All right. Take this. Use the radio in my car and call the station. Where, where are you going? He's not calling you really anybody. Think that boy's down there? I don't know. But I got a feeling, and it's not a good feeling. Hey, I'm gonna need you to take this too. You giving him the evidence? Make sure the sheriff gets this. Oh boy, I don't know. Supportive. I need your help here, Tom. I wouldn't ask if I didn't. I just don't know if I'm made of the stuff, buddy. They don't call it a higher calling for nothing. You gotta rise to meet it. You can do this. I, 
Yeah. I can do this. Hey. I'm counting on you, Tom Holt. Thomas Jefferson Holt. Say his full name. That'll get him motivated. You put your faith in Tom. Fate changed. Really? Sam trusted in Tom to help him when he needed him most. Dude, Sam is dead. Don't even... Don't even act like he's not gonna die here. He's the introductory character in a supermassive game. They always die. <clears throat> Spoilers if you've never... <laughs> there might be one that lives. I don't know. I'm just saying, it's not gonna be this guy. <clears throat> Well, if he doesn't die, he might not die, but he'll be like incapacitated somehow or imprisoned or transformed perhaps. Okay. Find a way to the furnace chamber. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll just leave it there. Damn it. Okay, furnace access is this way. Wow. Okay, I'm, I'm guessing we'll be able to explore the rest of this place. Furnace eggs. Oh, wow. Actually, there's like a lot going on here. Can I get in there? No. My bad. Alright, yeah, we'll just go up. This has got to be it. See anything. Oh. What's that? It's like a locket of some kind? Interesting. I, I don't know. Can't really tell you. What's the rest of this crap, though? It's like weird, a weird, like, Sid from Toy Story shit happening over there. Hmm, I wonder if something's gonna happen in this long hallway. Someone is engaged in strange rituals in the hidden areas of the mill. Wait, what are we looking at? How did I, how did I get that? They said there was a symbol. Um, it looks like a rib cage. You know, Sam, you could have just called it in. You didn't need uh, Tom to do it. This place turns my stomach. Can I crawl? <clears throat> Goddamn small spaces. <clears throat> I know, right? Huh, I can squeeze there. Wait, but that goes up. Okay, well, yeah, we can squeeze, let's squeeze. Oh, a skill check. Oh, it's making me do DVD skill checks? That's funny. I like that. That was pretty fun. Furnace access. Wow, we're still. Can I open this? I swear I'm wasting so much time trying to explore. I need to just play it linear. That's just how I roll.
my god. Is it bait? Why is it just left there? Oh. This is gonna be a trap. Ramp or ladder? Uh, ramp gives us more visual space. No problem. Who is that? We got the trapper at home. Okay, um, how did that happen, Sam? Stop! Get him, Sam. What am I doing? Oh, okay. I'm trying to hit a great skill check. Oh. I'm gonna f blind him with the flashlight. He is lightborn. Nah. Is there even a, is there even a baby in there? It's just like a tape recorder. And we're put on a hook. Oh no, we're going to stage two. Time to attempt escape. I've got deliverance. <laughs> you freed yourself from the pipe. Fate changed. What is going on? Come on, Sam. Let's try our best, okay? Yeah, 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 you got impaled. Poor you. Good job, Sam. Is this Frank Stone? Oh, you shot Frank Stone and saved the child. Oh. Oh, wow. Sleep tight, motherfucker. Well, now, okay. He used the last of his strength do that. What about the baby? The baby stops crying. So it was for a ritual. I got an achievement. Savior. Sam stopped Frank Stone. Okay, it's, it's not okay. quite it's okay. what I imagined. I thought we were gonna be on okay. a beach. I thought Party in the USA was gonna be banging in the background. Part in the USA is kind of dated. Uh, probably a uh, Chapel Rowan's H O T T O G O <laughs> would be banging in the background. Okay, yeah, well, it's still, yeah, you know what? The, 
This is a this is a far cry from hot to go. What? There's no there's no roof on this place. Cool. Mom. Yeah, I gathered that. I'll look at you and your little iMac. Uh, iMac, not an iMac. Um. All right. Well, I guess. I mean, do we just leave? Can we look outside? You don't got no curtains. You're telling me that you sleep in that bed facing just an open window and you're not scared of waking up in the middle of the night and seeing some kind of face in the window? You tell me that you, you were just like curtains. I'd rather die than have curtains. I mean, then of course you don't have uh, a roof, so. I feel like that probably should have taken priority. Of a looping hallway. Experience the psychological horror. None of this is right. Oh my god, it is looping. I was joking. Did it change? The shape of this change, or is it the same? Well, the liquid's gone, right? It's upside down now. I'm getting bloober teamed right now. It's the ultimate coal lab. Dead by daylight until dawn. Layers of fear. So who's Madison? This is what I mean. She's not a DVD character. Oh, every step I take. Ooh, every move I make. These are scratch marks! I, it just clicked. Okay, so in Dead by Daylight, wherever you go, you leave scratch marks that the killer can use to track you, but they disappear pretty quickly. I just realized that that's what it was. That is so funny. If you don't play Dead by Daylight, though, you're, you would look at that like, huh? It's a cool effect. Now you don't normally see them when you play as Survivor, unless you've got the uh, Nancy from Stranger Things perk, Fixated, which has a different name now, because there was like a licensing issue with Netflix and they renamed the perk, but I can't remember what it is now. Uh... Mom? What's wrong? You were always a disappointment, Madison. She never loved you. She never wanted you. You were a mistake. She's always been ashamed of you. I don't know. Just I'm trying here. to predict different things that she might say. Right. What's her face gonna look like? It's like she's on a hook. <laughs> oh, they would never do that. They would never convert the temperature. No, 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 no. Listen, if it's a British plane crack. captain, they're gonna pretend like Fahrenheit doesn't exist, just like the rest of the UK population. They'd rather die than utter the words Fahrenheit. Or I guess it's just one word. It's too embarrassing for them. They can't handle it. It's Celsius or bust over there.
Okay. You can do this, Maddie. Just stay on the right side of the road. I mean the left. The left side is the right side. Right. Dearest Madison, your presence is required for a personal audience with Augustine Lieber. Is that a hitchhiker? Yeah, let's pick him up. <laughs> Stop or drive? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Hey! See ya. We don't pick up hitchhikers. Yeah, see you later, Tignataro. I don't think so. Eyes on the road, Maddie. I know how that ends. Plus, they were holding a weapon. You see that crap? I don't think so. I'm not gonna get murdered out in the middle of nowhere like this. They'd never find my body. Guess we're here. In the house of darkness. Chapter two. So this is 2024. How long ago was the flashback just now? Because I noticed that it said somebody's birth date was like, it said 27 for the year. So I don't, did it say what year it was for chapter one? Because I forget if it did. Okay. Oof. Creepy doorbell. Good sign. Hello! I'm here! No way I've come all the way out here and nobody's home. Let me in, please! Hello? Okay. Is anybody here? Sorry guys, there's just not really much to react to. It's just like <laughs> Okay, it does kind of it does kind of look like anyone. the Resident Evil mansion a little bit. I guess that's just that just comes down to the style though. Damn, I want to replay Resident Evil remake. That game is so good. Fuck, that game's good. Damn. What is the... What is it? We saw this earlier with Sam. Ah. Wait, wait, no. I was trying to... Is that her? No. My Lieber. Oh, my God. This is where we encounter Lisa back Someone's here. Someone's gotta be around. But we gotta get the emblem. Hello? Ew! Oh wait, oh, is that the hitchhiker? Or that's the hitchhiker that we left. Uh oh. Hmm. Oh my god. Look how angry she looks in the middle. Well, you know what? I'm glad she's not here because now I can uh go and do my own things. Yeah. Not gonna find anyone in there, I guess. Yeah, well, if you can't get in, of course you're not gonna well, find anybody this in must there. Be the place. Oh, 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 oh. Is that the way? Ah, eh, screw it. Yeah, sure. Get me in there. Who's, who are you? Ah! Hello, another victim. Hello, victim? 
Just a little dry British humor. Oh, you're British? No, but spend a little while in a charming country house like this and it kind of rubs off on you. Aren't Americans the worst? Oh my God. I am so sorry. Where are my manners? My name is Stan. And you would be? Uh, Maddie. Well, it's nice to meet you, Maddie. All right, I'm going to call you Stan Bun. Madeline. Madison, actually. Ah, okay. Uh, like the Avenue. Like, oh, <laughs> in New York. Greatest <laughs> city in the world. Yes, he's a very awkward <laughs> conversationalist. Oh, yeah, it's where I live. I mean, it's where I lived. But now I kind of live in Berlin, or, well, I go to school in Berlin. So I'm not technically a citizen there or anything. And New York is still kind of my home because, you know, it's New York City and, like, once a New Yorker, always a New Yorker, you know? Well, Madison Avenue. Now that you're here, it seems like the party can finally get started. <laughs> uh, well, not much of a party. Uh, yeah, you're telling me. Casual. This place is creep town, right? Let's do it. Let's let's see if we can vibe with this guy at all. This place is like super duper creep town, right? It's not just me. I was taking a look around before, and let's just say I'm surprised it hasn't been condemned by the local authorities. Yikes. Lights don't even seem to work right. How do you mess up lights? That's like basic modernity, right? Right. Yep. The state of this place doesn't exactly reflect well on our mysterious host. Here our host is. Hey. Linda Castle. I am honored, no, humbled, to make your acquaintance. <laughs> hi, hi. It is truly a great pleasure to be graced by your presence. Okay, sure. Likewise, it's not every day you get is to meet one of your all-time favorite who I am, horror though? filmmakers face to face and shake their hand. I would have gotten here sooner, but my car broke down, and I just couldn't get anybody to stop for me. Oh shit! I'm sorry. You know what? Don't worry. I needed the exercise. Yeah, I won't worry what, about it. Don't worry. On. Are you saying that you saw the Linda Castle stranded on the side of the road, and and you didn't stop? Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is the director of my mother, my father, my blood. Okay, you're Nerf a weirdo. Fire. You're a weirdo. Blade Skinner? Dismember, dismember the 25th of December. <laughs> I had no idea who she was. That's no excuse. <laughs> well, then why are you talking about it so much? Never pick up hitchhikers. Yeah. I'm not going to apologize for this. I'm sticking to my guns. Hey, you're a horror filmmaker. I thought, like, number one rule of horror movies was never pick up hitchhikers. Actually, it's never have sex. <laughs> but uh, no one has sex in movies anymore anyways. You are so Fair weird. Enough. I probably wouldn't have picked me up either. Good. Okay, you're it cool, Linda. a classic trope. I don't use tropes in my films. <gasps> I use archetypes. Right. Oh my god, yes. I hate them. I Very hate smart. these people. <laughs> I hate Maybe these our people. Host has left something out for us. <laughs> I use archetypes. What do you do, Stan? Oh, I won't. Bore oh my you god. With all the but it involves money. Get your head out of your own ass, please. Trade. But nothing legal. Oh, obviously. the epic of Gilgamesh. Uh, Give obviously. me a break. I'm gonna hate all these characters, and I'm gonna love every second of it. A bit of light bedtime oh, reading. Oh my god. Oh, I was just thumbing through, I was leafing through the Epic of Gilgamesh. Just yesterday morn. Wait. Hmm. Wait, can I, can I initiate like a conversation, like a mini conversation or? Okay. All right, actually, Linda's just like staring at the dark ceiling. Fascinating. Um, oh, is it locked? You know, this is starting off very similarly to the devil and me. Just thought I'd say that. It's odd to play two super massive huh. games in a row that are Movie poster similar in setting. inside a cabinet. Interesting you, choice. Do you enter the murder mill? Murder now, mill. 
If you get the deluxe edition of the casting of Frank Stone, not sponsored, okay, you can get a Murder Mill t-shirt for uh, your DVD survivors. Hey, so. either of you heard of Murder Mill? Holy shinobi. You're I kidding, right? No. I can't express. Holy shinobi. Not the only one around oh here who's familiar with it. Wait, this is one of yours? It's one of the first things I ever worked on. Super low budget. We had no idea what we were doing. Should never have seen the light of day. I still wish it hadn't. Why? Well, things tend to get blown out of proportion. I heard it was only screened a few times. And each time, the audience flew into a rabid, murderous rage. No, no, come on. Don't try and deny it. The film is legendary. I think people were just bored out of their minds. Did you notice what glass well, he has? Sure they made you sign what glass all he's sorts using? Non-disclosure agreements. Why? What? Who? The government. Sorry. When they confiscated and destroyed every existing copy of the film. Oh, give me a break. I heard they kept at least one, just in case. And the this CIA guy. has got this secret lab called Leary's Memorial Institute, where they use it for enhanced interrogation. Oh my God! He's like a QAnon guy for I'm Linda fan. Castle films. And it pays to know this kind of stuff. How? How does it pay? Hmm. You get to creep out the person you're a fan of in person when you arrive at a mysterious castle? Yeah, it's really paying off, bro. Uh, is that supposed to happen? I don't know, but I am digging the theatrics. <laughs> We need stand bun to take it down a couple notches. Ah, good. I see you three have wasted no time getting acquainted with each other. I'm so well, very sorry. Nothing else to do. So. In my arrival, there are a great many things that require my attention at the moment, and I would hate to have to deprive you of my full attention while we are together. <clears throat> ah, yes. And speaking of needing attention, uh, all dried up, are we? We can't have that. After all, you're far too capable of a negotiator when you're sober. And twice that when I'm not. <laughs> Madison, oh. would you also like a refreshment? Uh, I hate him. Just Maddie. Oh, my mistake, Maddie, it is. Oh, it's fine. Nonsense. Never be shy about what you call yourself. Your name is who you are. That's important to remember. And who are you? Thanks, Socrates. I all right. call myself. Augustine Lieber. Nice to meet you, Augustine Lieber. Now that we are properly introduced, I must again offer you a drink. No. No drinks for me. Uh, Not... No, that's okay. That's how you get you drugged. Sure? It's very good. Linda's confirm. gonna be on my side. Yeah, flying and drinking doesn't agree with me. Thanks, though. I refuse the offer of a drink. Well, what gameplay benefit is it even going to get me to have a drink, you know? I know it's been quite a long journey for you all to come here today. I hope, despite that, you'll find it'll all be worth the effort. Guess that's up to you now, isn't it? I suppose it is. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll show you mine. Do show me yours. God, Aren't we a so bit weird. eager? <laughs> Manners, Mr. Stanford. Not all of us are caught up yet. Wait, his name is Stan Stanford? <laughs> Brass tacks, Augustine. I did not come all this way just for drinks. What's in there? Look, I don't know what you two have come to sell her, but I just happen to have one of the most sought-after pieces of rare cinematic ephemera to ever hit the market. Huh. Well, that right there is the only surviving segment of film from the original camera shot celluloid of one Murder Mill. The earliest known work of a certain noted Artur. And you just tossed it into the bowl? Allegedly. Should be worth a small fortune. So I'm told. Hate to burst your bubble. Hey, you think she Damn doesn't it. have a copy? There goes its one-of-a-kind value. Oh. Not quite. What? I, I I never knew what it was from. Wait, what? 
You told me I had to bring this to you in person if I wanted to make it. I will keep the promises I made to you. All of you. What if I don't want to sell? Well, that would be your choice. But after 40 years of pain, why would you choose to live with more? I have to apologize again, but there are urgent matters I must attend to in my private reliquary. You are welcome to continue to make yourselves at home until I return. I really think we need to finish discussing... All in due course, Ms. Castle. I... I'll be honest, I did not expect this out of the DBD Supermassive so games. Do you hear? I could feel the entity's force, its power pulsating through the steel mill. Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. The ritual disrupted. My key mangled. Yet Frank Stone didn't die that night. His essence was seared into the very foundations of the mill. An endless, agonized nightmare. I had to find the right means to awaken him. Okay, weirdo. Hope you have the right perk for that. <laughs> um... So... You just don't get it, do you? Also, oh, this is the movie? You think we're weak? That we're nothing? You make me sick. <laughs> There's just one thing you bastards will just never understand. You can tie us up. You can torture us. You can put us through every hellish trial your sick imaginations can come up with. But you'll never defeat our spirit. Oh. <laughs> so I'm... No, no, no. My sister. Oh, God. Oh, all I have to do... Is betray my own sister. What's going on? Let me go free. To fight another day. God damn you! God damn you for forcing me to make this impossible choice! Yeah, Linda Castle's a real auteur. I'd rather die! You fail to see what truly makes us human. I'd rather die a thousand miserable deaths than betray someone I love. My answer is no. And there is nothing you can do to change my mind. All right, you alien scum. Do your worst. I can take it. This is like a home video. Ah, what is that? It's like something for high school film class. It's a one-man show. It's like a one-man show in like a black box theater or something. With like five people in the audience. Okay, goodbye. It's okay, he's only injured. Cut. How was that? That oh. was amazing. Really? It wasn't no. like too much? No way! It, it wasn't. Because I felt like maybe I oversold it a little. You gotta <laughs> play to the cheap seats, Jaime. That's where the money is. Rad. How do we do, Linda? Was that a good one? Uh, oh. Let me check the gate. Okay. You can check the gate on these little Super 8s. Um, no, actually, the lens doesn't come off, so... Somebody just wanted to show off all the fancy new crap they learned from the film production books in the library. I'm just trying to take the craft seriously. 
the crap. So this is like, Jeez, is this the 70s or? <laughs> so are, are we good or what? Yeah. I mean, it looked great. How did the blood gag look? Um, well. Linda, you did get the blood gag, didn't you? I mean, it's really all about how Jaime sells it. I did really sell it. Yeah, but did you get any of it in frame? You kind of see it splash up in Jaime's face a little. Oh, Linda! I told you, I wanted a wide close-up that shows off our super cool bloody arm gag and Jaime's face acting, not just an extreme shot of Jaime's face acting. I was in the moment. I have to be allowed to express my artistic instincts with the camera, too. She looks kind of like Meg. There's no such thing as a from DVD. wide close-up. <laughs> or an extreme shot. Or face acting. It's just acting. Does anyone even care that I'm the director? Uh, Linda, you've got to respect the director. Let's cool her down a little bit. Linda, when you're making movies, you got to respect the director's vision. And this is Chris's film, so... Linda's annoyed. Well, get over it. Don't worry about it. Let's just go again. Okay? You did it your way. Now we do it my way. She is the director. Hold still. Let me clean you off. And we'll get it on this one. If we don't, you can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh it's like spearmint cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. Mm, worth you it. guys want me to leave? All right, all right, on your feet, people. Everybody back to one. We're going again. We are going again. Okay, sound speeds. Okay, so am, am I doing um, the whole uh, scene? Speeds. All right, everybody settle. And hold. And hold. And action. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Wait, what happened? Fuck! No! Oh, dude, that is not good! What do you think you're doing in here? Oh, uh, hi, Mr. Green? Sheriff. Sheriff, right. Sorry. Oh! How many times have I told you to stay away from this place? We were just in the middle of a take. A take? Oh, is this at the, for at our the film mill? Production. You can't shoot a movie in here. But this is where the big climax happens. This? is a condemned steel mill, Mr. Rivera. And you are trespassing. Now, unless you want to spend the night locked up in jail, I suggest you, Miss Castle, and Miss... Dixie. Miss Tammy D. Dixie. Miss Gordon. Miss Christine Gordon. <laughs> I suggest you immediately vacate the premises. And you do not, under any circumstances, sit one foot back here in the Cedar Still Mill. Ever. But if we don't get our last few shots, uh, we're really sorry. Oh man, sir, we're, we're really sorry. We, we didn't realize we were doing anything wrong. We'll clear out. Whoa, 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 Jaime, we've got a movie to finish. I know, but we have to do what the sheriff says. He's the sheriff. I don't care who he is. He and we're very happy to do whatever the sheriff asks. And, uh, don't forget to clean up. Guess that's it then. I'm frustrated. What are we supposed to do with a busted camera? Uh, I guess that's it then. Hmm. I'm disappointed. Without a working camera or a location, I guess that's it then, huh? I guess we have to go with just needs to be fixed. I guess we have to go with the take that uh Linda had. What the hell crawled up his ass? Nah, he's not so bad. Usually. We're not gonna do what he says, right? Really? We can figure out how to finish the movie when we get back to the garage. Well, we can just go with Linda's take that's already done. So I'm like, 
over an hour in now, and I'm, so far I'm like, what does this have to do with Dead by Daylight? A little bit, I'm, I don't know. All wrapped out, sir. Keep watching. Now don't you try and pull any fast ones on me. I'll be watching. Yes, sir. And why didn't they make like Cedar Steel Mill, uh, St Steel Mill uh, a map and DVD to promote this? Or did they? I haven't played since the game came out. Um, keep them hooked, get it? Get it, keep them hooked? Curiosity Main Street, 1980. Okay, so I was close when I said the 70s. I mean, let's face it, 1980, basically the 70s. Just like 1990 was basically the 80s, stylistically and everything. They didn't really change that much. 1990 was pre-Nirvana's record Nevermind, so it was the 80s. complete and utter disaster. Don't be so dramatic. It's not wow. like we've got a real deadline. Ugh. Who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal deadline? You are so Gulf. dramatic. I like it. Hey, what are these? Oh, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise. Wait. You guys are both acting, so it'll just be me? So you'll be like our ambassador. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Hmm. Whoa, 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 don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Ugh, whatever. We got some good stuff today. Glass half full. Dude, just let me be upset. Doesn't Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? Like, go after actual criminals and shit? Cedar Hill is not exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. That's not entirely true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? Uh, I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. And you still don't oh know anything. Oh my god. Now, be a good little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer Oh business. my gosh, I'm getting tilted. I know some stuff. Spill it, lady. For starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Oh yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. Hell yeah, I would, Linda. Tell me about the steel mill killer. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. So what was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, I don't know if we... Frank Stone. Huh. So Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like, our steel mill? Where we were just shooting like an hour ago? How What's do you not theory? know this? Frank was working at the mill, but... I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. Okay, so, oh, so now, I'm, now I'm Chris. Who were the victims? Who were the victims? Just people. Some from the town. Some were never identified. The killings were random. There was no pattern. Like, how many are we talking? No one knows for sure. Because they never found the bodies. They found... Parts. Um, I withhold all this until now. Seriously, guys, I just want to know why you withheld all this crucial murder mill information from me until now. It wasn't relevant. There's no world in which that's true. I need to know everything. I can tell. That's pretty much all I know. Same. <sighs> There's got to be more to it. You've got a library card. Look it up. Linda, can I borrow your library card? Nope. I thought she has it. 
the library. I guess it doesn't really matter what happened at the mill since we can't finish shooting there with a busted camera. So hey, I guess she doesn't have a library card, Jaime. Why don't you take the camera to the drugstore and see if we can get it fixed? So, yeah, the thing is, I kind of spent the rest of the budget on the t-shirts. Mm. Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance, we're kind of shit out of luck. What? Uh, um. You want a piece of me too? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Howdy, partner. <laughs> Howdy, partner. How's lap on the range? <laughs> Why would we say Did he this? Did he hit his head or something? The hell's wrong with you? <laughs> uh, nothing. Sorry. Ugh, why mm. is Dad such a demanding asshole? I came home to help, not do everything. I mean, I'm not a maid. Do I look like a fucking maid? You better not say I look like a fucking maid. He's just worried about Mom. <laughs> well, like he's worried that as soon as she croaks, I'm out of here. And then he'll have to be his own fucking maid for once in his life. But Mom's gonna get better. Yeah, but Ma's gonna get better soon, so it's not gonna matter. Yeah. <sighs> right. Yeah. Oh. Of course you're right. That brings her down. Sorry, I guess I just needed to blow off some steam. I get it. The last thing Mom needs is for us to be screaming at each other. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, mm. and you've been doing an incredible job. I mean it. I, I don't know what we'd do without you. Uh-oh. What? What? Linda, where's the Jaime bell? <laughs> ring, ring. What's the Jaime bell? My darling brother has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. No, I'm just speaking from the heart. Okay. What do you need from me? Um. Well, we're making this movie, and we're so close to finishing. But we just need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do. What else is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. How much do you need? Hmm. 20 bucks would cover it. Less for more. Just like 20 bucks would probably cover it. 20 bucks. That ain't pocket change. Well, That's yeah. how much camera repairs cost these days. Seriously? We're trying to make this thing good, and good don't come cheap. Hmm. Huh. You guys really needed to finish the film? Yeah. All right, I'm in. <sighs> Who am I to stand in the way of art? You won't regret it. Okay. Oh, and I get the garage tonight. What? Why? Because I need it. This is where all our editing stuff is. Well, that's the deal. Take it or leave it. Uh, how did you even edit stuff back then? All right. It's a deal. I don't know. Maybe I'll look into that at some point. Before, like, digital editing? Try not to waste it. Don't worry. We'll put it to good use. How did they edit shit? I mean, I've seen... I've seen like movie scenes where there's some lady with a, a cigarette little, uh, and she's like slicing just, uh, reels together and stuff, but blood. I think it's just mint flavored real blood. Oh, it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. You washed it all off like right away, right? Uh, you're pranking you don't me. It's like actually poisonous, do you? It's a horror movie, Jaime. Anyone could go at any time. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully okay, there's enough Christine's... time to fix the camera before they close tonight. I'm, I'm not 50, sure the drugstore clerk her. will even know how to fix it. Hey, think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. What? What about there? I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Do curiosity shops even repair cameras? There was a place like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. I bet they have some rad old junk, too. Your call, Chris. Drugstore. It's to the, the curiosity shop. I'm curious. Why not? I certainly am curious. 
regarding said shop, eh? Yes, I get it. I'll lead the way. You chose to try the curiosity store first. <gasps> now, uh, Man, I'll save that for the end of the I video. I didn't know any better. I'd say this place looks like it's been here forever. And a half. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner is a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques? Then we hit the jackpot. Check out the wares. Ooh, cameras. Uh, these look like they've seen better days. They're not gonna put the best ones in the window. We gotta look inside. Okay. Uh, too bad. So much for that. We're not breaking in. We can still have the drugstore before it closes. And what is it you're looking for? What? Hello, Hello? old lady that's not really old. Hello? We saw the cameras. We're trying to find a replacement for this. Of course you are. Oh. Please. Come on inside. I'm a 30-year-old woman trying to sound like I'm 70. Now, let me see. I think I have something that may interest you if I can find it out back. Please make yourselves at home. She okay? even looks like she's and got sure old to have makeup a look on. Around. You never know what treasures you might find. I'm looking for my iridescent queen. Make ourselves at home? Here? I don't know. I think it's kind of cozy. In a failed capitalist state kind of way. <laughs> Linda's Linda's so like highfalutin. <sighs> Look around. Okay, sure. What's this? Where did I put? Uh, I've never owned this place before. Had some lousy luck. Oh, it's about to do the cat. R. Straker. Okay. I don't want, if this is timed, I just don't want to spend too much time reading it. The store recently passed into the hands of a new owner. Talk to Linda. Well, well, hang on. Let's say oh, hypothetically see. she does find a camera for us back there. What's the next move? We got everything we need to finish this sucker. Well, except the mill. Sheriff Green's going to have his eyes glued to the front gates. No way we can get back in again. Okay, well. <sighs> There's got to be another way into the mill. We have to finish. We have to. Whoa, look at this. Well, why is it like this? Well, look at the skulls and stuff. Oh. It's a crow. Don't want to star all this. The killer might be running spies from the shadows. It's a park that highlights crows uh, when they when they get started. Surely there's something that can help us amongst all this junk. And I'm looking, dude. Oh, what's this? Bomb burgers. Not this again. Wait, so uh, Liba, she, Augustine Liba, she she got this. Why is this in all three places? The casting of Frank Stone. Cast like metal. <laughs> Cast like in a movie. Cast like throw into the abyss. There's three different types of cast that could work here. Oh my god, it's... I don't know what that is, but it looks painful. It's the Wraith's weapon. The Wraith is a killer in Dead by Daylight. They can turn invisible, and they got a weapon that looks just like that. Whoa. Now that's an Easter egg. Okay. <gasps> it's a Legion pin. Oh my god, I'm suddenly broken. <laughs> I can't heal. I'm sorry, I told you guys I was going to be insufferable. I warned you. I warned you it was going to happen. Who would want to watch this creep fest? It's just like a hallway. 
Yeah, I guess. Nothing else. Um. Let's go back here. There's something on the other side. What is this? That looks a lot like the film reels. They were. Oh my god, it's the trapper! Imagine cuddling up to that at night. Evan McMillan. Or. Yeah. Isn't that his name? The trapper. There's a snake in my boots. Oh. That's interesting. Uh, okay, well, I think I've pretty much found everything. Look at, look at Linda. Nothing really going on behind those eyes, huh, oh, Miss Archetype? <laughs> All right. I mean, I'm sure if we look around here, we could probably find more stuff. That's like a... Um, Oh wait, this moves on the story, I think. It's like like more Easter eggs and stuff. Oh yeah. Okay. All right, I guess we'll talk to Linda. Well, let's see if we can. Hello. Damn. Let's talk to Linda from behind the desk. I think that'd be funny. Oh, you actually, you actually can't. You have to be... I guess that makes sense. Let's see. She comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw. I'm getting, like, so bummed out. Oh. You're in luck. A very fine item indeed. Yes. Whoa. $20. Look at that. But may I? I insist. Don't drop it. It's pretty old. Possible we could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. Chris is a hustler. Mm -hmm. uh, how much are you asking for it? Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you take a look? Are we going to lie to her about what it says? It says $20. I saw 20 it. 20 bucks. She... Oh, okay, she said it. Feels a little high. Hmm. Let's, let's hustle her. This is what Chris would do. Hmm. Oh. I don't know. It feels a little high for something so old. Hmm. It is quite a valuable piece, so I'm afraid I'm unable to lower the price, but perhaps I can sweeten the deal. Ooh. One of a kind, handmade. It's for luck. We're gonna get 25,000 extra blood points when we escape with this thing. Yeah. Why is it as a prop? I guess we could use it as a prop. Sure. It's a deal. Delightful. <laughs> <laughs> I haggled and received a pocket mirror, see? Thank you very much. Chris, Chris is Thanks good for, for something. Us a camera. It was no trouble at all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. Yeah. Yep, that's us. Hmm. Interesting. So did you not get like the Wait, footage guys, off of the oh, camera? I'm such a moron. I told my mom I'd pick up some milk on the way home. I guess oh, we won't use that footage. Hold this. Be right back. Wait, Chris, we just spent all the money. Emergency sock quarter. Emergency sock quarter? Okay. Uh, 
buy milk. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff to look at, though. No, you gotta stop doing this. This is ridiculous at this point. So I guess, I guess it, this is because I found the Iridescent King, right? So this is keeping track of the collectibles that I found? But like, why does there have to be one? Why does there have to be so many? Cursed movies? Really? Must be a slow news day. Hmm. Oh, wow. Dean, like James Dean. That's Andy Dean. There's a long lineage of lost movies resulting in dark myths and superstitions. Cool. Interesting. Huh. Demolition scheduled this year. Whoa. Her movie is going to be the last record of the mill. That is so true. Super 8 film right there. Are we sure we don't need any more? Just looking at the menu here. Um, One sip and you'll be hooked. Get it? Get it? Okay. Oh, it's an arcade machine. You can play? Oh, wait. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, we get it. It's like Space Invaders or... Oh my gosh. I'm bad at I'm bad at these type of games. I I never was good at them even when they were new. But I might as well try it, you know. This is actually pretty easy. Pretty easy so far. Do I get anything for it? I mean, I'm really wasting time here. You get so much protection. Oh, come on. Okay. I mean, might as well try to beat this one level, you know? Oh my gosh. Wow, I'm... Oh, last one. I got it. Okay, now what? Oh, now a new one? Oh my gosh. Eh, well, you know, that's fun and all. I'm pretty sure you guys aren't watching to watch me play Space Invaders. The large dairy. Missing Another Benny missing Baker. Jam. I hope they're found. Huh. Ah, waterlogged shoe. That's a hag add-on. Oh, I know that one. <laughs> These are all killer. Add they're all iridescent add-ons so far. I'm pretty sure. So let me let me check. So so it should update this, right? Oh, I missed one apparently. Well, wait. Well, these are both, but that's wooden horse, isn't it? That's a huntress add-on, the one in between. I mean, I can't imagine what else that would be. Apparently, I missed it. That's okay. We're not trying to hundred percent the casting of Frank Stone. I would say. I could so find a place for these in Murder Mill. If we had any cash to spare, which we absolutely do not. All right, I think I'm ready to get um, the milk. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Chris. Robert, wait, I thought you worked at the library. How would you know? Don't think I ever saw you come in. I got spies everywhere, man. So, Linda. 
busted. <laughs> <laughs> you can always come in yourself, you know. Books don't bite. Uh, Linda's the bookworm. I'm more of a movie worm. Mm, I don't think that's a real kind of worm. Neither's a bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so we're about to close mm. in like two minutes, so. Oh, right, yeah. Ring me up. All right, that'll be 25 cents. Kind of awkward. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you sure don't see coin like this working in the library. Actually, you don't see any coin. <laughs> it's volunteer hours. Not so bad if you like to read, I guess. Mm, true. We've got a rad horror section, too. Didn't know you were a horror guy. Just books? Movies, comics, too. Whatever I can get my hands on. You know, Jaime and Linda and I are all making a horror movie down at the old Cedar Steel Mill. No kidding. We could always use an extra hand if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, super into it. But... Does my dad know you're going into the mill? He watches that place like a hawk. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, we had I was a little wondering if you were agreeing. With him today, but we're going to sneak back in to shoot the rest. He's right behind me, isn't he? Man. I would love to be involved. Involved Robert, can, in what? Hey, you can Dad. see him. Yeah, uh, Chris was just telling me about a um a. We're putting together a fundraiser. To show movies, at the library. Well, now you have to do it. Okay. Why'd you come with a a lie that like? You need a ride home. Involves you oh, yeah. having to do uh, it. Let me just get my bag. <laughs> oh my gosh. Chris. Sam's I'm a good sorry guy. I was a little harsh with you and your friends before. I just wanted to make sure you're taking me seriously. They told me about Frank Stone. I get it. They told me about Frank Stone. Gotta be a lot of demons in a place like that. When you spend enough time in my line of work. You realize every place has got its demons. What a provocative conversation. Take care. Okay, are we gonna get our milk? God, we've been in here for like 10 minutes. Hey, hey, hey. I can get you back into the mill without him knowing. Just say the word. Let's make a movie. <laughs> Really? When are, I mean, are we going to go back to the present with Maddie and I have worn many masks okay. over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional, and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me, allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise, a new timeline, a new chance. Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair even for me. So were you they the shopkeeper? Know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. So, so you were pretending to be what old. True creator wouldn't suffer for their art. Oh my gosh. Shut your Kate Blanchett ass up. Damn. Oh, you're not Kate Blanchett. You'll never be Kate Blanchett, okay? Let's just give it a rest. These walls have eyes. Okay, I am going to go ahead and pause it there because. You know, I'd love to just do a one-shot, a seven-hour video of the entire game. Um, we do have to kind of cut it for this video. So my I, my initial thoughts, now that we've gotten the first three chapters in, are this is a very 
jumbled experience so far, but it's not bad. Um, I don't think it's a bad game. You know, they're still setting things up, obviously. Uh, you know, I, I like I already like it more than uh, The Devil and Me, so I, I say this is at least not Supermassive's worst game. I'm not super duper drawn in. I think one thing that Supermassive... Doesn't, it's not that they struggle with it. I think they do it on purpose. But I think one of the flaws with their games, given that they're choice games, is that the characters are hard to care about. One of the reasons why Until Dawn works is that it weirdly has like the most likable characters out of any of their games. <laughs> and Until Dawn has a very unlikable cast overall compared to most games. So that's saying a lot. Uh, with that said, you know... I think the characters are fine so far. Everybody in the mansion, I just, I, the mansion could like burn down with all four of them trapped inside and I wouldn't shed a tear, you know? Uh, but we haven't spent much time with them. I like Maddie the most, but I think you're supposed to because you play as her. Um, Stan Stanford, or Stan Bun as I like to call him, is awful. He's terrible. We're gonna have to watch out for him. He's gonna do something unhinged. I just know it. Mr. QAnon over there. Uh, Linda's a little pretentious, but she's the only character that's in both timelines. We didn't get to see much of her in the 1980 timeline. Um, or I guess it's not a different timeline. It's like the flashback sequences, I guess. Uh, she's been kind of hanging back there, but you can kind of see little flashes of the auteur she turns into. I wonder what happens to Christine and uh, Jaime. But yeah, you know, um, I started off hating Chris, but she's she's got kind of a dorky, awkward charm to her. I think she's fine. Uh, Jaime's just, you know, a blank slate, basically. I like Sam, but he's just sort of a do-gooder, isn't he? Um, Robert seems fine. We'll, we'll see if we get to know these characters more, how we'll like them. I will say, and I understand why there was a conflict with this, because DVD is very serious about its lore for some ungodly reason, but I think I am disappointed, because I see these characters and I'm like, this could have been that character from the game. Like, I see Linda with the pigtails and I'm like, she could have been Meg. I know that Meg's like an athlete in Dead by Daylight, and she's not a filmmaker, right? But this could just be an alternate universe. Does it have to be canon, right? We could have had Linda be Meg. We could have, um, you know, I don't know, Robert be Adam. We could have had, you know, just like, I mean, swap these guys out. Chris could be Kate. I'm just thinking about people that like look kind of similar right off the bat, right? But I feel like it would be cooler if we were playing some actual characters from the Dead by Daylight game instead of all these randos. It's kind of it's kind of like one of the reasons why Resident Evil Resistance didn't take off is because it introduced you know there's a lot of reasons for it but um not to reopen old wounds but uh they introduced all these characters January, Valerie, you know and you're like who are these people? Um Where's where's Jill Valentine? Where's Chris Redfield? So people want to see, you know, the characters from the IP, and we're not getting that so far. We're getting little Easter eggs here and there, like, oh my god, it's a waterlogged shoe, you know, or like, it's a trapper toy, which is fine, um, and that's fine to have in the game, but it doesn't really affect the story at all, and I'm kind of wishing that there was more of that. I'd at least like to you know, look at the characters um, that I play with in the actual game, in this game, and see them in, like, a story scenario. I think that'd be cool. S sad that we won't get that, probably. But who knows? Alright, well, uh, thanks for watching so far, and I uh, hope you're enjoying it, too. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Think critically.